So here we are. And hi, everybody. It's Mary Scott from Business Riff. And thank you for coming to Facebook Live today. My guest is Marilyn Green. She is a grant reader and a grant writer. And she can tell us all about what that how that works. So Marilyn, do you want to um, give me a cent? Tell us the name of your company and what's your background. Sure. Thank you so much. First and foremost, Mary, for uh, having me. I appreciate it. You know, Zoom is our life. You know, at, at, at one point you just zoomed out. You know, that's a that's a whole different seminar, a whole different webinar at this point. How to stop the Zoom out. Uh, but anyway, my name is Marilyn Green, as Mary said, and I am the president and CEO of JFY Consulting. And the JFY stands for Just For You. So we tailor everything that we do based on your needs. We are grant writers, we're grant reviewers, uh, we do strategic planning, we do business services as well. If you need a 501c3 to start up and, and we work in together, I work together with my sons. I call them my number one. I have two sons, but they both are number one in my book, okay? And so we call ourselves an intergenerational think tank because we are, it's me, the baby boomer. I always say baby boomer, hear me roar. And then, and then we have the two millennials. So that's pretty much what we do. We've been uh, doing this since about 2013 and we absolutely love it. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Marilyn, tell me, I know that when people hear grants, they tend to think about not-for-profits, mm -hmm. but are there grants available for other kinds of businesses? It is far and few between, but however, there are some for for-profits. In fact, my company in 2016, which is a for-profit, we received a, um, a grant from uh, the National Association of Self-Employed. It's called NASE, N-A-S-E. And so they gave us funding uh, um, for, we were making a database and other things that we put in there and they funded it. So we were for profit. They also, federal government has uh, different grants that says for profits. The main thing, Mary, that people has, have to do is that they need to learn how to really properly Google and put for profit in that Google part, and then it will pop up. But there are some to answer your questions, but they are far and few between. Okay. So what are the top three mistakes people make when they're writing a grant? There's only one, one mistake, and it's all of them are top three. <laughs> okay. That's, that's kind of weird, but it's true. Answer the questions. Answer the questions answer the questions. So they don't answer the questions. I'll just expound a little bit. They don't read the questions. They don't allow other people besides themselves to read the application, okay? To make sure that they fully understand what the funder is saying or asking for. Second thing in this same number one is that they read the question, but they want to answer the way they want to answer it okay and they don't understand what the verb describe and all that is if you go right back to what third grade when they start to make you understand it might be first grade nowadays but that word right there is the moving force or the train of how you need to do what you need to do so that's pretty much the, the biggest one i would say mary that it would take the one two three probably top ten of what they don't do. They don't actually read. They don't get a grant team together and let me look at it, let you look at it, let other people who are doing different things within the um, company, let them look at it because they're gonna, they're gonna look at it differently. So that's pretty much my answer. Just, they don't read the questions. Okay, that's really great advice. Um, what would you recommend would be the optimum time frame for applying for a grant? Well, the op when you said optimum time frame, I'm thinking about how much year? lead time should people oh. use before the deadline for a grant. Okay, let's go back to that other question you just asked me as far as the top three. There's another one, okay? <laughs> it's 
that they don't spend enough time doing it. They see it um, um, one day, one week, and they think they could just jump up and do it. No, it takes a good six months to actually do a really super great um, competitive grant proposal. And within that time, certain sections would take more time than others. So I would say six months, and it could be shorter if you would uh, if you do some things as well. So it could be shorter, but I would just say six months. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are there um, particular is are there any websites that list a lot of grants that are available? Are there organizations that help people find them? It is. There's it's a really simple one that I like to recommend to my uh, to my students when I'm teaching a grant writing class or to my clients. It's called Grant Gopher. G R A N T Gopher G S and girl O P H E R. That's the one that's free, and they have actually local and regional grant proposals. Federally, you can go to grants.gov, which everybody knows about, and you need to check out the state, whatever state you're in. Check that out, and you also can go to foundations, Kiwanis clubs, Elks clubs. You know, just don't think because they're small. And, and, and they might give you a small amount. You need to go there anyway. It'll help you sharpen your skills of grant writing and grant, grant writing and getting the funding is just like, um, how would they say, a, a credit report. So if you start off and get 500, that's a good thing because sometimes funders ask you, have you got any funds before? And so you can put that down. So yeah, there right. are places. So if you've already gotten some grants, does it give you more credibility for the future to be able to get them? It does. It does. It depends on what the answers or questions are on the uh, application. They may ask, have you had funding before? That's where you need to list it. They also may ask on the federal level to ask you, what other funding are you getting, period? You know, your annual, annual budget, your operating budget, they may ask it. So yeah, it's a good thing. And no matter, I just mm -hmm. want to say, Mary, it doesn't matter how small, I'll reiterate that. It doesn't matter how small, but just go for it anyway, you know, because it's nothing like that feeling of, woohoo, we got it, you know? So <laughs> I would say go for it no matter what. So, yeah. Hey, I was on the board of a theatrical uh, production company, and when they got a $500 grant, they were thrilled. <laughs> yes, 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 because it's competitive. It, it is. is very it competitive is. at the 200, 300, 400. It is competitive. Yeah, so, yeah. exactly. Just celebrate it. Celebrate so tell it. me a little bit about JFY. Um, okay. What's what's your process? What kind of clients are you looking for? Okay, the clients that I'm looking for, first of all, to to deal with one arm, which is the business services. I'm looking for the person who says, "Hey, I got a dream. I got some passion." I got some compassion. I'm looking for that person because you're ready to start the journey to help the community. That's what we do in business services. I love to have startups. And then after I finish, I, I liken it unto a child, Mary, as <laughs> I grow them up so far, I take them to the 12th grade, okay? And when they're 18, and then I, I kind of drop them off in somebody else's home, if you will. And what I do is that I, I, I have a friend of mine who loves them after they get 18 years old. Okay, so I kind of like that person who wants to do that. And the strategic planning, I like the person who is saying that they may want to start up something again, but they don't have a strategic plan. So, mm -hmm. so again, it's the baby, but I have to help them with that strategic plan as well. Sure. As far as grant writing and grant review, we take all, you know, and we really kind of specialize in uh, human services, you know, domestic violence, at risk mm -hmm. kids, uh, substance abuse, things of that nature. That's pretty much what we like to do or okay. I like to do. Or then it is my son who does it as well. And he's mm -hmm. the education person. So he likes the education right. piece. So. Right. So once people are real good at getting grants, then and, and they get a good strategic plan, they're in a much better position to go for investors and to pitch investors and have them actually get to the next level as a startup. Exactly. I would agree with that because some people will say I need a business plan. I don't do business plans, but I'm, I'm so resourceful. I know who would do a business plan. But for me, when it comes to nonprofits, 
it's the strategic plan because if you do a strategic plan first then you understand whether or not is this a good idea or not okay so it's it take your time i would give that mary to take mm -hmm. your time do the strategic plan what is it hurting it gets everybody on board you know exactly where you're going everybody's heard of smart goals not so smart goals you know <laughs> every <laughs> everybody's heard of those take your time and do that you know and that's what you can take to the bank if you will you know take it to whoever yeah. you want investors and things like that here's our strategic plan if we get your money this is what we will do with it that's it mm -hmm. that sounds great so um is there something you think people should know that they don't yeah it is um i, I mean i have to put a shameless plug that you really do need me no <laughs> mm -hmm. i'm sorry but um I mean, if you don't really or if you're not sure or not confident in what you're doing, please seek a professional. OK, and let someone come in and hold your hand. A lot of times people will say, well, I don't have the money, but I say this, you know, you need to really kind of look for the money and then let that person help you. Because in the long run, if you try to do it yourself, even though I have a class called DIY grant writing, do it yourself grant writing, even in that you're seeking a professional such as myself to help you through the processes of knowing how to write a grant. And I'll say this, Mary, one of the things I use to my own advantage is that a grant proposal is a proposal just like you're getting married. This is what I'm going to do for you, okay, if you decide to accept me. I use the information that I received as a grant reviewer, and I put together a one page grant proposal. I submitted it to a junior college and they said, you know what, we do need a grant teacher. And that's how I got that. So learning and going to the professional to learn how to write grants or have them walking alongside with you goes really far because you can use that same model to get other things that you might want to do in life right and particularly for startups this is something that um i say all the time and that is you have to spend money to make money you have to invest in yourself and if you don't have skin in the game if you don't have some of your own money involved in your business mm -hmm. why should yeah. anybody else exactly, exactly. Um, you need to be passionate enough to actually write the checks because whether it's to a college program or a workshop or a consultant it's tuition and it's exactly. an investment in your business and exactly. you're going to make it back you have to believe that you're going to make it back exactly and I, you know and i want to expound on that a little bit more so for example if a class is costing a certain amount of money if you really get in there and do your due diligence and stuff the amount of money the exponential growth or the return on your investment will be amazing okay so if a class if a class costs as much as a thousand dollars to take it by the time you finish it and get it all together then what you're going to get from that is is worth really more than that now i can say this not all classes are the same you know and i have to do a shameless plug again once you come to my class, I never let you go. Okay. I'm I, I'm not I'm not stalking you. It's a soft stalking. You're always with me by the hip. So you can call me anytime, text me anytime. I'm gonna give you the information that you need. And I'm Very always cool. I'm always thinking of them, Mary. You know, once they tell me what they're looking for, they might get a text or something. Hey, did you consider this grant? Yeah. Hey, did you consider this grant? Whether I help them to write it or not. I am willing to be that public servant, if you will, to help them along the way. Excellent. Thank you so much, Marilyn. What's your next workshop? When's it coming up? You know, my next workshop, I'm trying to plan one for, let me look at my big board over here. I'm going to do, uh, I think I'm going to give an overview June the 12th, August the 14th, and July the 17th, which are all Saturdays. And Mary, I'll let you know uh when when all this is coming about and so it's going to be excuse me it's going to be like a general overview and then i also am going to have a class that's six weeks long and okay we, and we so um people can stay tuned and um 
we'll post any links that come up for that. Uh, Marilyn Green, thank you so much you for being welcome. with us from JFY Consulting. Um, watch the the chat or um, the comment section for additional links.